there was a long project that took place among the people of Israel which went on for about 1500 years. There were about 40 men. Most of them unknown to each other were contributing to that project. Out of those 40, some were kings and some were peasants. The fun part is that they weren't even aware that they were a part of such a project. And yet, when all their writings, which were 66 books in number, when compiled, they were so correlated and complementing or elaborating each other's writings. And on the whole, they presented a big picture. It was all possible because they were all inspired by one spirit, which is God, our Creator. That's how we are able to have concordance Bibles today. That is, when we read a passage from a book of the Bible, in the middle column, it would note that that particular verse is connected to another verse from another book of another author of another time. Because of such complexity in translation or even in the recollection of some past events by two different people, there is a chance of some minor variations in the text which by no means alter the core theme of the Bible which is the fall of mankind to sin. God's plan to redeem humans how he did it through the sacrifice of his own son Jesus, how to live our lives today, and what to expect next, and so on all the way to eternity. Another interesting fact about the Bible is that among all the religious books of this world, it alone contains holy books of two contradicting religions, namely Judaism and Christianity, which many people are not aware of. Yet, for those who are hungry for the truth, every word of it is a feast from heaven. However, those who know it all will not receive anything from it. That's why the Bible says, He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent empty away. The devil knows the power of the Bible and every dictator bans this book. Thousands have died defending it and demons tremble at the sight of this book. Biblical events and places have been proven through archaeology in huge numbers. Well, that is my Bible. Thanks for watching.